Oh, the glacier is so beautiful. I've only seen it in pictures or in movies. So it's quite special for me to come actually and see what I've been um, studying for a long time. Well, in the past 20 years, this um, mass loss of the, from the ice sheets, both in Greenland and Antarctica, has, um, I would say, quadrupled. We think this uh, rapid um, retreat of some of this glacier is also caused by uh, warming of the ocean. But then we start realizing that a lot of the melt water wasn't coming just from the face of the glacier, the submarine melting as we call it, uh, but also from the iceberg, because again, another way that the ice sheets lose mass is by calving and forming this iceberg. The main question is like, once the, the iceberg melts, what happened to that melt water? We need to understand these processes because they've been neglected uh, in the past when assessing, for example, sea level rise. Uh, we're kind of scared in a sense and because things are happening fast and they're contributed to the change of climate. Nobody has taken measurements basically attached to the ice in the field. Um, and it's something difficult even to do in the laboratory. The real ocean is really complex and complicated. So it's, sometimes it's really difficult to detangle. Well, I have a very um, high confidence there will be something interesting coming out. It might not confirm what I found in the lab, but it will be interesting nevertheless. And, um, make us understand better what's going on in Greenland and in these fjords.